Hi, welcome to AI Toolbox. Today we're going to do a workflow to create SEO AI content. I will also have a link to this workflow in this video description. There'll be a link to a Google Doc. This workflow is going to focus on creating SEO AI content that matches user intent. This means that we're going to create content that matches what people are actually looking for. We're going to do this by focusing on natural language processing and entities. In case those terms are new to you, natural language processing, otherwise known as NLP terms, helps computers understand human language, similar to how we understand each other when we have a conversation. Entities reference specific things or concepts mentioned in the text, like the names of people, places, and dates, for example. You can see entities in action if you do a Google search. Let's say search Albert Einstein. When you get the search results, there's a lot of data presented here. And all of these pieces of data are entities. You get biographical data, images, education, videos, each of these are a type of entity. Creating content that focuses on incorporating entities into your writing makes it very powerful and SEO friendly. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is find an SEO tool that works for you. We will be using a combination of a few tools. There are different SEO tools like Surfer SEO, Phrase, Jasper. I'm using NeuronWriter. This is my SEO tool of choice. The reason I like it is I find that it gives me the most features and it's the most affordable, especially compared to tools like Surfer SEO. I'll also be using ChatGPT and Ahrefs, but the bulk of the work will happen in NeuronWriter. Before we get into this SEO AI content, let's talk about NeuronWriter. It's an SEO optimization tool. It analyzes competitors' top ranking content and uses natural language processing and um, AI models, including the latest GPT engines, to analyze these pages and give you a content plan so that you can write articles that are more powerful than the top ranking content. Best of all, it helps you integrate entities into your writing. It's more powerful than just focusing on keywords because it's the, the substance of what people are searching for, not just a keyword. In terms of pricing, they offer five plans. Every time you do an optimization, one article, they charge you a, a credits. You can get a monthly plan or you can get a yearly plan. The lowest plan is a bronze. You get 25 SEO analysis all the way up to a diamond. You get 155 analysis per month. There used to be a lifetime plan that Neuron Writer had on AppSumo, which is how I first started using it. That plan is expired now, but I do have an affiliate relationship with Neuron Writer and they still give me access to that lifetime deal. If you're interested, check the video description and check the Google Doc workflow. There'll be a link to a lifetime plan. Now let's get started. The first thing we need to do before we start writing is figure out what's our keyword. When I start here, I start with something broad, the Ahrefs free keyword generator. It's a free tool and it gives you an idea on search volume and keyword difficulty. I wanna write something around solar panels. We start by doing our search. Using the free version of Ahrefs, the information is more limited, but it still gives you the core of what you need to get started. We see that solar panels is actually a competitive category that gets pretty high monthly search volume. You see here where it says KD, this stands for keyword difficulty. This is an estimation of how hard it is to rank in the top 10 organic search results. If we look in this list, we see that portable solar panels is actually easy in terms of keyword difficulty and still gets a good amount of monthly searches, about a thousand searches a month. So this is a great target. We're gonna do something on portable solar panels. Next, we still need to figure out what exactly do we want to write about for solar panels. That's where we use chat GPT to give us some more focused article ideas. I asked ChatGPT to give me 10 article ideas on the topic of portable solar panels. It gives us these different suggestions. The ultimate guide to portable solar panels for beginners, the top 10 portable solar panels for camping. This would be a great product roundup article. Here's one, the environmental impact of portable solar panels. I'm gonna do this. You could go anywhere you want to with this type of article from a product roundup to a product review but I'm gonna do something informational. Once you have your NeuronWriter account set up, you'll need to create a project and attach that project to your website. Once you have that set up, run a query. This is where you um, start your SEO optimization journey. We wanna create content around the environmental impact of portable solar panels. So we're gonna start there, run a query. Now it's looking at the top 30 articles in Google and creating um, a content plan for us. We're gonna let it run this analysis. After it's done that, it's gonna give you this list of the top 30 articles in Google on this topic. This shows your Google rank, the position in Google organic search results. This is the content score, an SEO score that Neuron Writer determines based on different factors about an article. This is the length of the article. The one that I deselected has only like four characters. I'm not sure what's going on there. 
and then the page title and the URL. You could go and look at that article if you wanted to. I always look down the list to look at other potential articles to include in the analysis. I, I focus on things that have a rating at least like 50 and above. I'll focus on, it's about 12 or 13 articles. Then you click this next button to update your competitor selection and continue. Now we're in our Neuron Writer content editor. This is where we're going to be doing all of our work. The first thing we need to do is to create our outline for our article. In this section over here, in this right side panel, there's a section called AI writing. This is where um, Neuron Writer stores different types of AI writer tools. There is a tool called article outline. We want to click that and enter in the topic of our article, which is the environmental impact of portable solar panels. So Neuron Writer can use different GPT models. Right now it's using GPT 4.0 mini. You can also use GPT 4.0 and Claude's on it. I'm going to leave it on the GPT 4.0 mini. They, they caught different levels of credits, so be aware of that. Now we're going to put our cursor in the content editor section and then click write for me. So Neuron Writer has created an outline based on analysis of other top ranking articles. So it's including relevant headers and sections based on what is ranking well and what people are actually searching for. Let's look at another important section of Neuron Writer called the terms. This is where the natural language processing and entities come into play. These are all NLP terms. It's both short keywords and extended phrases. You get a range of different types of NLP terms. When you have Neuron Writer generating content for you, it's automatically including these phrases and words that connect directly to user intent. Next, we start writing the different sections of our article. Go back into AI Writer and go back out of here. And we're going to create, so they have different options. Let's try out the article intro. So you could have Neuron Writer include the different terms that it's already recommended to you. The way to do that is just go into your terms, click this button, which is a copy button and click uh, copy the terms and then go over into your AI writer and paste those terms that you want it to include in there. Let's just actually put in here, introduction to portable solar panels. And you just, you can also change the tone of voice, neutral, formal, informal, witty, funny, serious, respectful, motivating. I'm gonna leave it on neutral. I wanna make sure that doesn't write an overly long introduction. I'm gonna reduce the output here. Click right for me. So I actually I put in too many terms to start. I'm gonna take out some of these NLP terms. I can just include them later in the writing. So it's written the first paragraph. And if we go back over here into our terms, you can see it's adding more and more of these NLP terms to the writing, which is great. But you'll see here that a score popped up. This is our SEO score. And this is what we are working on to increase to get this score as high as possible. It's from zero to 100. We want to get this score as close to 100 as possible. So our next thing to start writing the entire article, what we're going to do is go back into this AI writer into paragraph. It's automatically including some of these NLP terms. I don't know why it doesn't do this for the article intro, but it does it for the paragraph and then also unused extended terms. So paragraph actually works better than the article intro. So we're going to do the same thing and I'm going to increase the length a little bit to 150 and have it start writing this. So here's my second section. It starts to bold the NLP terms, which is cool. If you go back over to your terms, it's including even more and my score is increasing. The more of these terms we add, the more optimized our article is. I'm gonna go through the entire article. We've gone through and written the entire article. When you look up here, our SEO score is at 70. When you start to see the color codes are going into the green, that lets you know that your content is some of the most um, optimized of the, the articles that Neon Writer has reviewed. If you cover over this, it tells you of the 30 articles that it's looking at. The highest score of the selected competitor articles has a score of 68. So this article is more SEO optimized. The number one article in Google at the moment, we've already gone above and beyond. Now, the next step is to look at our metadata. Click here in this title section. Neuron Writer helps you generate your meta title and your meta description. It also pulls in the top 10 articles. You can look at how they've structured their metadata. If you click on generate, it gives you the option of writing it for you or you could write it yourself. It also shows you specific terms that it recommends you include in your title and your meta description. So I'm just gonna have it generate this stuff for me, save that. Let's add some entities to our content now that we've optimized it and got all of our content in here. Scroll in this right side panel and click on entities 
these are entities associated with our topic of the environmental impact of sol portable solar panels. I'm going to start with photovoltaics, I think is the way you say it. We're going to include a section in here where we place all of our entities. Let's put it here towards the bottom. We'll call it additional information for now. I would think of a better title for this section, but for now, this is fine. We're going to make this an H2 header. We're going to have Neuron explain what this entity is. So we're going to go into AI writing paragraph, understanding photovoltaics, because I don't know what this means. We'll have it write for us. And then we'll make it a hundred characters. Now let's go back over to terms and look at more entities. The solar power, we've addressed that in other ways in the content. Let's go to renewable energy. We'll include a section about this and get the same thing. Understanding renewable energy. The idea here, it's pretty simple. You want to include a few of these different entities that's going to make your article even more relevant for this topic. And the next step that you'd want to do with this is write like other content on these entity topics. Write an article about photovoltaics and then link it to this article and write another article related to renewable energy. Link it here. This is going to make your article more likely to appear in the top positions in Google because you're touching on these entity topics that are very relevant to the subject. Now we have an SEO score of 90, which is awesome. We're at the top, you know, 1% in terms of optimization. The other features that Neuron Writer has, you want to make sure that you're including things like images or videos in your article so that making it as engaging as possible. There's a media section here where Neuron Writer can help you source its content. For example, I'd like to include a, a YouTube video that automatically has my topic in here and I click get YouTube ideas, it pulls in YouTube videos that are related to my topic and I can just click add. You can choose the size of the video and drop it right in. You can also look at stock images and automatically search for your topic. I believe it's pulling in from Unsplash. You get a selection of images that you can drop in. So it looks at Unsplash, deposit photos and Pixabay. I just go in here. You can either open it up in Unsplash so you could download it or you could hot link it. You can put your link in there and then go and download the actual image so that you can uh, upload it to your website. The next thing that you can do, go back to this panel, go into outline. It pulls in information from competitor articles where you can look at the structure of other people's articles to make sure you're hitting all of the subjects that you should be hitting. The last section is questions taken directly from Google's people also ask and from competitor content as well. Questions being answered in competitor content, but it also pulls from when you go into Google, there is a um, people also ask section. NeuronWriter can tap into this and pull those into your content so that you can create FAQs. What's great is that you can make sure that your content is addressing what people are actually asking. After creating an article like this, go through it, read everything carefully and make sure it's accurate because it's still AI. It could be hallucinating. You don't want to make assumptions, make adjustments, tweaks and modifications so that it is in your own voice. I don't recommend copying and pasting AI content directly to a website. I hope this video has been useful. Again, there'll be a workflow in the video description. Also have a link to Neuron Writer lifetime plan. Like I said, you can use other tools to achieve the same. Thanks again for watching.